Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. I wanted to do this video to give you guys kind of my initial impressions of a bag that I got uh, I got yesterday that I really like. This isn't exactly my first impressions because I already unboxed it and packed it out and everything yesterday when I got it. But like I said, this is kind of like my initial impressions showing you guys, telling you guys what I think. Kind of a 24-hour observation type dealio here. So uh, I really love this bag. It comes from Hazard 4. It's not a new bag, but it's new to me. Uh, Hazard 4 doesn't really make a whole lot of different bags. Uh, you know, they come out with a couple of new products every year, but they, they keep, they're continuing to expand a little bit. You know, gradually they're releasing more and more things, which is good. Uh, but a lot of their newer things don't really appeal to me at this point. Some of the things are like gun cases, things that I don't really need or, ha or have the need for at this point in time. But this one pack I had my eye on, uh, that I've been really interested in and really wanted to make it my new uh, first aid slash trauma kit bag or just my medical supplies bag and it is absolutely perfect for that. If you guys remember my Condor tactical deployment bag uh, I actually sold it recently because it just didn't have enough room to store everything I wanted to have in it <clears throat> and just the way it opened up uh, everything was kind of crammed. Somebody even made a comment about that and uh, how everything was crammed in there and I probably wouldn't be able to find anything if I needed it. But this is perfect. So anyway, let me just show you guys. Just quit talking. This is the Hazard 4 Watson. Um, in black, as you can see. This is really the only black backpack or piece of tactical gear that I have, believe it or not. Uh, but, you know, I wanted it to stand out. It's got cat hair all over it right now, but... <laughs> I wanted it to kind of stand out and be apart from my other packs so that I know this is my medical supplies. Uh, you know, I could have gone with tan to match everything, but basically what this is, it's a smaller version of the EVAC Plan B with a few different little features and whatnots, but uh, almost the same dimensions. I'll do a side-by-side -side, either in a separate video or I'll just wait for the review. But this front pocket is the same exact size as the uh, front bottom pocket of the EVAC Plan B. It has same configuration on the inside and everything. All it's missing is the top compartment up here. But this, what it makes, what it lacks for in terms of uh, length this way, it makes up for it in width this way with the addition of these two pockets on either side. So it's very cool. It, uh, here again, Hazard 4 makes some pretty innovative stuff. Uh, you know, with the Plan B, I love it because it's real narrow and it fits on your back and it just goes from basically uh, the base of your neck down to your tailbone. And like I said, there's not a whole lot of width this way. And it's just kind of a neat profile. It's, I, I found it to be the most comfortable sling style backpack I've, I've ever worn or ever used. And here again, this is kind of different. It's kind of a squatty, squared design and shape, you know, but it's not overly tall this in this dimension, so it's not necessarily going to have a lot of weight far away from your back, causing you to lean back if you're carrying a heavy loadout. So it's just a cool design, and I really like it. Uh, it's, of course, a sling-style backpack, just like the Plan B. I, I really like sling packs, especially for everyday carry. Uh, this is reversible. It, it's set up right now kind of for left-hand carry, which is what it's called, but it's the method that I prefer to carry, and that's uh, to, be, to be carried on my right shoulder, like, like so. Uh, you know, here again, I'm right-handed, but I prefer to carry my sling packs with the strap going over my right shoulder. I have no idea why. Like I said, that's usually marketed towards lefties, and I'm a right-handed person. I just find it a little bit easier to reach around and sling it forward. Now, it's marketed as a sling pack just like the Plan B, but both this and the Plan B, there's only one small little compartment inside the front pocket that is useful when slung towards the front of your body. Really, this, this pack and the Plan B give you absolutely no benefit slinging it around to your chest because all the pocket configurations are just like on a normal backpack. Like I said, it's only, with the exception of one little compartment on the inside of this pocket that has a double-sided flap, and you can just open up the side that you wish to sling it, you know, depending on which side of the body you're carrying it on. 
But like I said, all the pockets are configured configured vertically, just like on a regular backpack. So if you swing it around to your front side and unzip one of them, your stuff's going to come falling out. So these, in my opinion, weren't well designed in terms of slinging them around to be able to access everything in it you know, like some of the other packs on the market today, but that's okay because I never really do that, to be honest with you guys. Uh, if I really need something, I'll usually take my pack off and set it down. <clears throat> but in the rare events where I need to, I'll just make sure I keep the things that I need to get to in a hurry, either in my pockets or somewhere in the front of this pack to where I can open it up and access it without everything else dumping out. And uh, this really has a lot of cat hair on it. But <laughs> anyway, like I said, as you can see, I have the, uh, the Medical Star, the Star of Life patch on there to signify this is my uh, medical bag. Um, I can't decide. I'll probably do a separate video showing the loadout completely. I just want to give you guys a brief overview of this bag. Uh, like I said, I would have showed it yesterday, but to make a long story short, I have a new part-time job that's been keeping me pretty busy, which is a good thing. So I really haven't had the time to make a lot of videos. That's why I've been absent this past week and even last week. Uh, I've just been super busy and then really tired when I get home. But anyway, shop back in the way. Like I said, this front pocket is the same size as the Evac Plan B. So you can, you know, if you have one, you can kind of gauge off that. Uh, just kind of unzip it a little bit. Now, the, the one thing that differs about it is that this has the locking zippers. It has a little loop through it, just like on a lot of luggage. You can put a lock through there. Or a lot of times what I would do is I'd slip an S-beaner or a carabiner through there. Just because nobody's going to come up behind you and unzip it without you knowing anyway. But if you really are afraid of that, slip a carabiner through there. Nobody's going to be able to finagle it out of those holes without you knowing. And then, you know, so. The cool thing about the inside of these pockets, if you get the black version, like I did... I don't think it's like this on any other version because the only other versions of this pack are, or the, I think there's only one other version, it's just Coyote. But the cool thing about the black version is that the inside of the pockets is Coyote, which is nice because it gives you a contrast, it gives you a color contrast. So you'll be able to see in low light situations, you'll be able to see, kind of get the idea of what's in here. Like I said, there's some of my medical supplies. The pockets are organized just like they are in the Plan B. Um, here again, with one tiny exception, I don't know if you guys could be able to see this, there's one loop right here, which I have safety pins on. And then there is an elastic um, slip pocket. <clears throat> that's the only thing that's different. Um, on the front, though, you don't get a lot of hook and loop. And you don't get any molly, except for... Just right here. So you only have three rows and they're spaced apart. Uh, I wish they had done it like they kind of did on the Tactical Tailor admin pouch that I have, where uh, all the hook and loop is also molly webbing. It's just hook and loop sewn over the, the, the webbing itself. So really all you get are three rows of three and they're spaced one inch apart. So it makes it kind of difficult to attach things to. I wish the hook and loop like I said, was also mollied, so it gives you a lot more versatility there. But you do have two rows of hook and loop spaced one inch apart. It's going to allow you to get any kind of name tape on there or a really big patch like I have. Like this is a fairly large patch, and I'm just lucky that it's shaped the way it is. It fits perfectly. So that's pretty cool. Um, two drainage holes also on this front pocket. So that's very cool. Um... Like I said, you got two side pockets. All, like when you're looking at it, only this left hand, or as I'm holding it on my right side, it has a media pass through, media port pass through. Which, if you had your iPod in this pocket, you'd put the headphones, bring them out through here. That way, it'll keep your iPod, your iPod, your iPod, or your smartphone dry and safe. But your headphones can come out through that little port. And you can kind of string them through the strap and put them in your ears. Whatever you want to do. Uh, just a cool little addition. And it has a slip pocket on the outside of the pocket that's held closed by hook and loop. I forgot it. There's a space blanket in there. 
The other side is the same exact pocket, but it does not have the media port pass through for whatever reason. Uh, also, this the side that does not have the media port pass through, it has a plastic D ring. I uh, don't know why, it's just there. <laughs> Hang anything you want from it. Uh, it does have the CCW pocket. Something that's kind of neat about it is that around the stitching is like kind of a rubber uh, hypolon material. That's kind of neat. On the end, or you know, you, you can also it's marked as a CCW pocket, but of course you can put your iPads or anything else in there. It's that. Well, that's my combat casualty card. Just got through in there because I had nowhere else to put it. But uh, back here is that Trico material, which is hook and loop compatible. So you can put all of your hook accessories on here, like the uh, hanger or the stick up pal um, holster that I also have by Hazard 4, or any kind of other hook and loop gun holster you have will fit right there perfectly. And then you have the micro suede on this side, which protects screens. Like I said, if you have your, your tablet or anything like that, it's going to protect the screen from getting scratched. So. That's very cool. That also, this pocket also has the little locking zippers. But as an extra security, it has a buckle right here, which is also a retention strap. It goes into the, the shoulder strap, which I like. You have a little bit of molly up here also on the shoulder strap. Just a little bit. You can attach a little accessories too, like I did, like with my Benchmade strap cutter and a little flashlight. Um, it has a Retention strap goes around to your chest, which is nice. Uh, excellent padding. It's that same kind of really nice thick foam padding you can expect from Hazard 4. Um, the strap is the same that's on the EVAC Plan B and some of their other packs. Very thick, very wide, very well padded, which is partially what makes these some of the most comfortable packs that I've ever owned. It's just it's all in the shoulder strap basically, and uh, the design of the pack itself. So you have that. You have the cord keepers, or not cord, um, strap keepers. So you can roll up the excess strap. Um, not a lot of companies are utilizing just that simple little feature, which I'm really surprised because that's honestly amazing that, the, that Hazard 4 does that. Uh, all the zipper tracks have the dust covers on them, meaning the has a little extra flap of material that covers up the zipper tracks, keeps it from getting Dirt, dust, sand, whatever, uh, caked up in the zipper tracks. All the zippers are YKK brand, so you know you know they're good quality. Um, yeah, this is just an excellent pack. Oh, and also it has a bottom grab handle, so you can sling it around to your front, uh, and a bottom retention strap. None on the sides, which isn't really needed for a pack this small. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'll probably do a separate video showing you my loadout, but. The inside, uh, the main compartment on the flap side, there's just a small little zippered compartment. The inside's also Coyote. The inside also has the, um, the Trico material running all around the inside, so you can put the little dividers or any kind of hook and loop accessory on the inside that will fit. Uh, but like I said, I won't be able to show you in this video because I don't have enough tabletop room, and I'm trying to keep it somewhat short, somewhat short video. If I show you the, the contents inside, I'm gonna want to make the video kind of long. So I just I know me. So uh, let me try to give you a 360 about how this looks. Uh, oh, camera was gonna pick all this up. I can't see. Maybe move the camera down just a little bit. Said. So like I said, I love how comfortable it is. It's very nice. I carried it to work with me. Uh, uh, yesterday, no, I carried it to work today, this is my first day carrying it, and uh, I actually did have to use it today, uh, which is kind of good and it's kind of bad at the same time. You never want to have to use your medical supplies, but you're always glad you have them when you need them. Um, but it, it, to make a long story short here again at work, we've been taking down a bunch of these 15 foot tall racks that we've been stacking pallets on, just pallets full of stuff. So, taking them down, some of the metal grates that are used for the floors that the pallet stack on. Some of them are kind of cut jagged, so people were getting puncture wounds in the arms and scrapes. So, I just, you know, basic first aid, you know, here's some 
uh, blast it out with some saline solution, you know, some wound wash, uh, wipe it with some prep pads, and bandage it. So it's really simple stuff. But like I said, I was glad I had this, and this really helps organize all of my supplies. And everything fits just kind of perfectly. I still have a little bit of room to add some things, but there's not so much room that everything is jostling around inside when I'm carrying it and getting kind of disorganized. Everything is very nicely packed in here. And like I said, there's it's just the pockets are perfect. So this is, this is going to be a great carry for me. Uh, I'm really going to be excited to review this. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because there are no videos here on YouTube showing this pack at all. At least none that I could find. But of course you can use this for more than just a, a first aid kit. Uh, that's just what I wanted it specifically for to house on my first aid year because it just seemed like the perfect size. And uh, it complements my everyday carry bag which is my Hazard 4 Evac Plan B. Seeing that it's somewhat a kind of a smaller differently designed version of it. But this is going to be an excellent EDC pack for anybody on the market for a good sling pack. You know, if the EVAC Plan B is a little bit too big and a little bit too oddly shaped for you, then I think this is going to be an excellent option. Definitely look into the Watson. Like I said, it has no coverage here on YouTube that I can find, hardly any reviews anywhere on it, but I absolutely love it. I think it's been the perfect pack for what I need it for. And definitely, if I didn't want to use this as a first aid kit bag, uh, this would be just an excellent everyday carry bag to store all my EDC gear. Uh, maybe a little bit too small for the things that I like to carry in it, but for most people, this is going to be more than enough. Alright guys, I think I drugged this video on a little bit too long. Uh, didn't want to make it too, too long, but I think I did anyway. But just really wanted to show this and to talk to you guys a little bit about it. I have some pictures on my Instagram of this, uh, showing you the contents, so in case you don't want to uh, wait for my loadout video, you can check those pictures out. But I will do a detailed loadout video of this, showing all my contents and how I have it stored. Alright guys, hope you have a great rest of your night, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on this, please leave them in the comments box. If you have any suggestions for further videos showing this pack or showing anything else, please let, let me know guys, I'm always open to suggestions. All right, have a great rest of your night. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614, peace.